Now, we need to find a percentage of a number which is not a multiple of 100. So first, we have 28% of 650. Remember, a percentage is a fraction over 100. And we know that to find a fraction of a number, we can divide by the denominator and then multiply by the numerator. So first, we can divide 650 by 100. That's 6.5. Now the way I've taught this is that when we're dividing a whole number by 100 is we can put the decimal point on the end of the number, copy down the decimal point, and then because 100 has two zeros, we can move the digits two squares to the right. But we don't need zeros on the end of decimals, so 650 divided by 100 can just be written as 6.5. Now the other thing we can do when we're dividing whole numbers by 100 is just imagine the decimal point on the end of our number and then instead of moving the digits two squares to the right, we can move the decimal point one, two squares to the left. So if you look at my red cursor, we start with the decimal point on the end, and then to divide by 100, we move that decimal point one, two squares. So we get 6.50, which we know can just be written as 6.5. But now that we've divided by the denominator, we need to multiply by the numerator. So we need to work out 6.5 times 28. Remember, when we're multiplying decimals, if there's one decimal place in the question, there will be one decimal place in the answer as well. So that we don't forget, let's start by copying down our decimal point. Now, five times eight is 40, so four, zero. Six times eight is 48, plus four is 52. Now, we can cross out our working and write a zero in our second answer line. Five times two is 10, so one zero. Six times two is 12, plus one is 13. Now, if we add up our answer lines, we get 182.0. But we know if we have point zero on the end, we have a whole number. So we can just write our answer as 182. Now we have 85% of 360. So 85% 85 is 85 hundredths. And if we start by dividing 360 by 100, we get 3.6. We can do that by putting the decimal point on the end, copying it down, moving the digits, and then crossing out the end zero because we don't need zeros on the end of decimals. Or we can imagine the decimal point on the end, and then because with dividing by 100, we have two zeros, we can move that decimal point two places to the left, so we get 3.60, which can just be written as 3.6. So now we need to multiply that by the numerator. So multiply by 85. Again, we need to copy down our decimal point. Six times five is 30, so three zero. Three times five is 15, plus three is 18. We can cross out our working, write a zero on the end of our second answer line. And now six times eight is 48, so four eight. Three times eight is 24, plus four is 28. 0 plus 0 is 0, 8 plus 8 is 16, so 1, 6. 1 plus 1 plus 8 is 10, so 1, 0. And 1 plus 2 is 3. So we get 306.0, or 306, as our answer. Now we have 24% of 350. 350 divided by 100 is 3.5. You can put the decimal point on the end, copy it down, move the digits 
and cross out the end zero, or you can imagine the decimal point on the end and move it two places to the left. So that's 3.50, which we can just write as 3.5. Now we need to multiply by the numerator, so multiply by 24. We copy down our decimal point, 5 times 4 is 20, so 2 zero. 3 times 4 is 12, plus 2 is 14. We cross out our working, write a zero in our second answer line. 5 times 2 is 10, so 1 zero. 3 times 2 is 6, plus 1 is 7. So we can add up our answer lines and we get 84.0 or 84 as our answer. Finally, we have 35% times 320. But remember, times and of mean the same thing, so we use the same method. 35% is 35 hundredths, so we can start by dividing 320 by 100. That's 3.2, because either we can move the digits and ignore the zero on the end, or we can imagine the decimal point on the end, and because a hundred has two zeros, we can move it two places to the left. Now we need to multiply by the numerator, so multiply by 35. We copy down the decimal point, two times five is 10, so one zero, three times five is 15, plus one is 16. We cross out our working, write a zero in our second answer line. Two times three is six, and three times three is nine. Zero plus zero is zero, six plus six is 12, so one, two, and one plus one plus nine is 11. So we get 112 as our answer.